Good morning guys, Chris from the Ultimate Recycler. Well, it's morning here, and as you can see, the sun hasn't quite come up yet. Today I'm going to take you to some garage sales, and uh, we'll just walk around and give you a bit of an idea of what I'll look for. You can see the sun's just about to come up, it's going to be a beautiful day, so hop in and we'll go for a ride. So, here we are in the house. Um, I have a bit of a scan around here. That's just a modern piece, someone's put a candle in. Uh, furniture I'm not going to worry about, particularly modern stuff. Too hard to sell. Uh, mainly looking for smalls here. Uh, that radio is just a modern battery reproduction thing. Uh, pottery is worth a look. This is Aussie pottery. Um, not very attractive. 1980s to 90s era. We'll leave that one there. Uh, this other one, you see the base here, how it's, it's really shiny. It's got the three dots from being supported in the kiln. They're very light too. Uh, that's just home hobby pottery from the 80s and 90s. You'll get a lot of that in Australia. Uh, there's a 70s retro print. Not much value in those. Uh, the little cabinet here, there's some nicer bits. There's some English china, a bit of uh, crystal, coloured glassware. The sort of stuff that sells okay. Can't see anything outstanding. But we'll have a look in some of these pieces. Uh, this is an English cup and saucer. It's very modern. It's Wedgwood. It's quality, but it's very modern. Uh, we'll leave that one there. Uh, big chunky bit of crystal at the back there with the original label on it. Uh, these do clean up very well, and crystal sells okay. You'd probably get $15 for that. It's undamaged. It'd wash up well and really sparkle. So whilst it's not as popular as it used to be, crystal's still good in the shop if you can get it at the right price. The dome clock's a modern battery one. Coloured glassware always looks good in the window. These uh, vases are made in Japan. 60s paper label. Uh, retro orange. Popular. There's a big blue jug at the back, which I think would be probably Polish. Um, a red glass there, a ruby glass. Probably 60s again. So those things are well worth grabbing. They you know, range 10 to 20 bucks. Toolboxes in the shed. Um, I've done a video on toolboxes. They're always worth Is grabbing it? if you can. Uh, here's a 70s era dial phone. Uh, the brighter coloured ones are very popular. This will still sell and uh, I would have about $30 on this in the shop. They nearly always work. 1975 STC. So we'll grab that one. Uh, garden tools I always look at. Um, most of these older ones are usually English, good quality steel. This is an ADS. A handy tool. It's probably branded so that's well worth grabbing. There's $30 or $40. Uh, for that one. I always look out for ladders and um, hang on to the end till the end of this video I'll show you what I do with some of them but these old timber SEC ladders um, really good items to sell. Cutlery, lots of souvenir spoons, leave them alone. Kitchenalia, I've commented on that before, it's quite popular. These meat grinders, this one's clean enough to use it's all there. Um, it'll be an English one so they're always worth grabbing. They pull about $20-$25 dollars in the shop regularly. Along the kitchen theme, this old enameled uh, colander is a nice old heavy one. It's got plenty of weight to it and uh, even though it's a bit chipped in the, in the enamel wear, um, we'd certainly grab that one. Uh, old irons, uh, a nice heavy iron there. They make great door stops uh, or some of them that stand up make good bookends. So I always grab them. You know, there's $10, $15. Uh, and this garage sale, they've, they've got Nothing's priced, but they're really keen to get rid of it. So they're kind of like a dollar at item. The old record player here, 60s, maybe 70s era. Um, probably doesn't go. The felt on the turntable's um, no good. It's suffered from age. Uh, the needle, I usually feel to see if the needle's there. I think this one was missing. Uh, but look, whether they go or not, it's a cute little sort of briefcase style, and that'll sell well for about 20 bucks. Now these kitchen dresses are okay. This one's probably the plainest of them. It has got nice etched glass doors, but it's only plywood construction. There's the tin lined bread cabinet that they nearly all have. If you're going to buy them, just check that the drawer runners aren't overly worn um, because years of pulling in and out with heavy cutlery does wear the drawer rails pretty quickly. Um, this one's fairly clean, even though it's a terrible paint job. Um, you know, this would pull $180 to $100 in the shop, but it's not really that good a quality piece of furniture. If you're going to buy them, you can paint them up. 
um, not worth stripping back because as I said it's only ply just check down the back for any borer holes right back into the kitchen department uh, these vintage aluminium pots and pans or these large boilers I always grab these um, there seems to, they seem to be very easy to sell uh, just the larger ones saucepans I don't bother with but these big ones are pretty good always make sure the lids fit and there's no damage and then they're worth, worth grabbing I'd probably get $15-$20 each for those no problems uh, teapots this one's got a saucepan lid on it and it doesn't really suit it but I do always grab aluminium teapots uh, again the campers like them I'll find another lid for that one at home nothing much on the rest of this table just op shop bric-a-brac here's a much nicer teapot this one had pulled twenty dollars that's a swan brand uh, eight cup capacity um, not overly dented up this is quite a nice one that one so that's a good find uh, the enamel uh, sorry the laminex table that the kitchen we're sitting on is quite a reasonable piece too um, i did bring this one home and uh, i think that's a hundred dollar item with that nice marble green laminex and here's what I do with the ladders. They were the find of the morning. There wasn't anything outstanding otherwise. But uh, I've got these in the shop. Uh, they add to a great display. Put stuff up on top of them. Hang hooks off them. So in each of the rooms of my shop, I've got ladders hanging. I sell them quite readily. Uh, the extension ladders I pull apart and sell them in two separate lengths. Probably about $50 a length. And you can see how well they look with uh, things hanging off them. And here's the ones I've got at the side of the shop. Uh, step ladders as well sell very well, so I always grab those. That makes the trip well worthwhile. So whilst we didn't find anything particularly wonderful at this garage sale, it was well worthwhile. I picked up plenty of stuff to make profits on. And uh, as you can see with these ladders, uh, that was worthwhile on its own. So thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel, and we'll do some more garage sales soon.